Hey guys, it's your girl Shan and welcome back to my channel. Now, I have another pickup for you guys and actually this one is a little bit more exciting because it is a pair that you may still be able to get your hands on if you're quick. So I'm gonna go ahead and unbox it and I will see you on the other side. So these are the women's Air Force One Light Smoke Grey and they are a JD exclusive. They released exclusively online and in stores at JD Sports and I think they were regional so they may only be available in the UK but they are available to cop right now. Now before you run off and buy this shoe, and I will leave a link in the description box below, please let me go through some of the finer details so you guys can see how much of an amazing shoe this is. And what I love most about this is that it's a pair that was easy to cop. Sometimes with some of the hype pairs, sneaker shopping and trying to get your hands on pairs can be quite stressful. So it is nice sometimes to find a pair that you just really like, that is a general release, that has enough pairs for everybody and is super, super dope. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys some of the details of the shoe. So we'll start with the sole, which is just your normal classic Air Force One sole. Um, I have worn these for a photo shoot, so unfortunately they are a little bit dirty, but just your classic Air Force One sole. If you look from the side to the midsole, you will see again, it is your classic Air Force One with the air to the outer side. And yeah, just nice and clean. So for the upper, it is an all suede upper in this really nice kind of, it's like a mid gray, I would say. So it's not, although they've put a light smoke, I think on the website, light smoke gray, sorry, on the website, I actually think it's a little bit darker than what kind of looked advertised online so but it's a really really nice color so the full suede upper is complemented with this metallic silver swoosh which i really really like and it's got different colors on metallic which i'll show you but again on the medial side you can see that again you've got that metallic swoosh and it's not like an overly patent metallic either it's kind of like quite a dull silver but you can see that it is definitely metallic okay so on to the tongue and this is my absolute favorite detail on the shoe and it's one of the reasons i picked it up because i do like to look for special kind of details especially on the pairs that are on the shelf because that kind of influences me to want to buy it because it has something a little different about it than your just your normal classic um air force one so comes with like some lace jewelry which um, is removable so if you prefer not to have that on the shoe then you can take it off but I just thought that was a really nice touch because it's it's just really nice isn't it to have some extra details and it complements the tongue tab which has the Nike Air in like a foil metallic plastic so it is raised so if you do feel it, it is raised off of the tongue but yeah, it is really, really nice. And normally I would say that silver and gold don't really go together on a shoe. But for some reason, it really does work on this pair. So I'm absolutely loving that. Another slight variation on a normal Air Force One compared to this one is that on the back heel tab, you actually only get it saying Nike without the Nike Air. So you'd normally expect a Nike Air on the back of that Air Force One. But it's again in this metallic foil gold kind of raised 
material, but it is slightly different. And it does make the shoe kind of look slightly different from the back, in my opinion. But again, another little variation. And that's kind of what I look for when I am searching for general release pairs. So those are pairs that are already on the shelf. So the Air Force One is a really nice classic shoe and it is one of my favourite silhouettes within the Nike range. I have quite a few Air Force Ones and I buy a lot of them just sitting on the shelf as I said, other than like the kind of hype pairs, I think I've got maybe a few of those, but a lot of them are just pairs that I have found um, online or in store. So. There always are really good Air Force Ones sitting on shelf. You just have to look for them. And across different stores, there will always be lots of different colors of Air Force Ones. And one of the things I love about them is that they have remained affordable in a world where trainers can be upwards of 160, 170 pounds. You can still pick up good Air Force Ones. And I picked these up for 90 pounds. So Air Force Ones will always be a part of my collection forever because classic shoe and affordable. As for comfort, they are really comfortable. They've got this extra padding on the inside in the sock liner, which makes it really comfortable. And that runs all the way through to the toes. So I did wear these um, for a little bit when I did my photo shoot and they are pretty much the same shoe as the Pistachio Frost, which I picked up earlier this year. And I've worn those to work. I've worn them all day. And don't forget, you're going to get added comfort because of the concealed air in the midsole. So Air Force Ones for me are just a staple and just something that you need in your collection. And you can wear them all day. As for sizing, I got a size three. So as I've said for Air Forces before, you do need to half size down because you don't want to get that dreaded crease. I'm an advocate for keeping Air Force Ones quite crisp and quite clean. I'm not really here for those battered Air Force looks, but each to their own. I just think staying true to the silhouette, to how Air Force Ones have always been worn is that you just always wanted to preserve the shoe. So for me, um, half size down, definitely for sure. And especially if you're like me and you buy within grade school, so kids sizes and women's sizes, if you're buying a women's Air Force One, you need to make sure you're half sizing down. So these are a size three. So that's it for the finer details, but I just absolutely love this shoe. And if you are thinking about pick them up, I would highly recommend that you head over to JD to do that. No, I'm not being sponsored for this video. I just think you guys need to have them in your collection. So if you do love this shoe, do head over to JD Sports to get them. I also like the idea, as I said, that I can pick up such an amazing shoe on the shelf for £90. And for me, these are the pairs that I really do love. And these are the pairs that make my collection unique because the GRs is what everyone has access to buy. And they kind of make up your sneaker identity, in my opinion. So the hype is kind of what the consumers and the brands and the community and other sneakerheads kind of are ramping up, putting in front of you to buy. But the GRs are the pairs that you really love because you've gone out to kind of find them. They're already on the shelf and there's no other reason or hype behind them other than the fact that I love them. So these pairs are equally as valued in my collection as my hype pairs because they're just a bit of me. But yeah, so as I said, 90 pounds, JD Sports. Guys, if you want to see how I've styled them, then do head over to Instagram, at Shans Got Soul. You can see how I've styled many other trainers in my collection and some of the dopest, cleanest content, yeah, I said it, um, on Instagram. So please do head over there. And I'll be back soon with another latest pickup. You know I don't stay away for long and I, you know that it is ramping up towards the end of the year. So please do subscribe if you want to see more sneaker content from me. It's your girl Shan and I'll be back soon. Peace.